I get to get back to work. Hey, shine like go. They don't want story, man. They want the sound bite. I'm like, no. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Josh, the founder and master electrician at Empowered Electric, and welcome to Empower ED, where we try to take a close look at all things skill trade related to help you DIYers and master craftsmen out there uh, just be a little better, right? Because if you can pull wire better, if you can run conduit better, if you, you make the skilled trades look better, and I think there's a lot of people graduating that would benefit jumping into being an electrician, a plumber, a roofer, you name it. Like, we need each other, so stop all the hate. Anyways. I remember early on in the trades, uh, fish tape. Fish tape would whoop my ass. And I had this foreman that would always be like, don't let an inanimate object whoop you. But to truth be told, I would get my butt kicked a lot by fish tapes. Fish tapes are this, this piece of equipment right here. This tool right here. This is a fish tape. So a fish tape, ideal, Klein, make them. I don't know who else makes them, probably other people, but mostly ideal, ideal's blue, Klein is orange. Um, and what you do is you push this through conduit, whether it's PVC underground or EMT overhead or rigid or anything like that. You push it through the conduit you run, you hook wire to it. We'll make a video on how to pull wire and how to attach wire to a fish, head, fish tape. But this is something that as you push it down a pipe, a lot of times, hold on. Dude, this is like some Indiana Jones whip stuff. You get hit by this thing, that would freaking hurt. I'm gonna actually put safety glasses on in case I hit myself. We actually had a guy recently, he was pulling wire and it came up and it broke and the thick wire, it's like six gauge, hit him in the, but it flipped up and hit him in the and uh, he, he, he had to go home, all right? It hurt that bad. So this thing can jack you up. But anyways, whenever you're pushing it through a pipe, sometimes these edges can get caught and it can be weird and you're like trying to push it and you know, it, it, it's just tough. You really got to get after it. You a lot of times hit your knuckles and bloody your knuckles. That's why I put on my my uh, my gloves just to let you guys know if you're pushing a fish tape, if you're pulling a fish tape, you want to make sure to use your gloves. But one of the things I want to talk about is whenever you're pushing it, sometimes it gets caught and you got to cut it. Right? You take your lineman's out. I'm not going to do it here, but you cut it. You got to put some uh, on it because they're it's a hard piece of metal. Another thing that will sometimes happen is whenever you push it in PVC conduit, it'll get water all over that metal and it'll rust and it'll break. And you can tell this little, look at this little baby thing, this little baby fish tape. They come in different sizes. I would never buy this size, um, little baby thing. But if you can see the metal, dude, it is really, really rusty, really, really rusty, okay? And you look at that head, of the of the fish tape and you immediately realize that it's not the same right that's like goofy looking and what happened was is it broke and somebody just took their their needle nose and they twisted it like that right so let's just let's just show as a demonstration okay so what they did more than likely is they took their line or needle nose and they dude i don't even know if line or needle nose can bend this <clears throat> they just took it like that and they bent it. Now, that ugly buggly, right? That flats area right there, you're gonna try to push it. It's gonna hit everything in the world. And another thing is it has this little lip here that if you tried to, you, you would need to tape to close because when you're pulling it back, it can hit something and catch and you're pissed off at the world, okay? So an, an old journeyman showed me this little trick I wanted to show you guys. Um, this one has been in the back of a truck for a long time, you can tell, so it's not a big deal. But one of the things that I did early on is I would take my linemans and my needle nose and I would try to bend it a little bit better than I just did, right? So I would take it here and I would bend it like so. You're grabbing it, you're bending it. I know that you're going, why, is, why are we even talking about this? Um, you'll see in a second, I promise. Um, so you bend it over like that, right? You kind of squeeze it down. You grab it here at the tip and you bend an, an extra little like thing so that it kind of curls in. And this just looks, I mean, to be honest, this looks like dog crap. I mean, this just looks bad. You know, I'm trying to work with it here, trying to make it as good as possible. And I mean, that's, that's not that bad. That's kind of what it want, you want it to look like. You want it to be kind of pointy, rounded, and then have this little kickback right here so that when you tie wire on it, and you tape it, you would tape it on here like that. And when you pull it back, it would kind of slide over. But I want to show you this cool thing because sometimes when you bend it, it, it softens this right here and it breaks right here. 
So this old journeyman showed me this trick of taking a torch, taking a torch, I'm being serious about this, baby. This isn't just for freaking lighting your cigarettes on a job site. You could use a torch and you heat up the metal. And when you heat up the metal, it bends really good. Now, of course you're going, why would you do that? Because it bent so good already with the other way, but it doesn't always happen. Like sometimes every you'll bend it, especially if it's really cold outside, you'll bend it and it'll freaking break. And it's so frustrating to bend a uh, head over and over and over again and it break. So it doesn't take that torch very long to get that metal hot. Do you see how that just bent so flipping easy? I mean, that is like insane easy how that just bent. Now, what should I not do right now, Aaron? Take one guess. Touch the metal. Do not touch the metal. That would be hotter than freaking Thai pad Thai. You know, pad Thai, Thai hot. You know what I'm talking about. Um, give it that little back. Bro, that is a beautiful fish tape. If, if for some reason it got cattywampus, you could grab it here and line it up. But that little torch for what was it, 10 seconds? Like made it so easy to bend, a perfect thing, okay? That's the end of the video. Uh, if you haven't already, man, and you like these episodes, please be sure to subscribe, rate and review them, share them, comment. Um, the reason that we did videos like on tape measures, on fish tape, are because some of the comments say, hey, can you explain this? Can you go a little deeper into this? So there you guys have it. Have a wonderful day.